It's your game ball today, Matt. Oh, man. Uh, a lot of people to choose from. But, Scott, you had mentioned him before, and he's come under a lot of ridicule, um, especially for some of his antics this offseason. But get live 45, Devin White making all of those tackles. Uh, what was it? 12 tackles in the game. Just looking, yeah, 12 tackles, just looking like a team leader, exciting, ready to go, obviously looking for that big payday. He yep. went as the defense went today, and I thought he did a terrific job. So he gets my game ball. Yep, I love it. Uh, Josh, how about you? Who gets your game ball of the week presented gonna, by Manscaped? I'm going to split it between two players. From oh, come on. You can't position. split your balls. I am, I Don't am split well, your balls. You get one per ball. It hurts. I guess. I, I'm going to do one per ball. And okay. whether it hurts or not, I feel like it's important. In a three-point right. game, to have two turnovers in your own, like the opposing offense is in your yeah. red zone. I've got to give it to Antoine Winfield Jr. for forcing the fumble and right. Christian Izian for the uh, end zone interception yep. um, to really save two Viking scores and ultimately save the game. Yep. That's, those are great picks. I can't argue with those now. Um, you know, I, I, somebody needs to give it to Baker Mayfield, right? I mean, he's, right. You know, he made enough plays, but I'm a defensive guy and I can't do that. So uh, sorry, Baker. I mean, you had a great game. And if, if I was going to split my game balls like Josh, I would give you one as well. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, fine. If Josh is going to break the rules, then damn it, I'm going to follow suit. Um, and you're such a bad influence. Trailblazer. Such a bad influence. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Baker Mayfield because uh, it wasn't pretty early on. But you know what? He didn't quit. This guy just kept plugging away. And it was it was gritty. Um, well, hang on one second here. I've just got an important text here. This is regards to Kalaja Kansi. Don't think it's a setback or a restrain. I think it's just tightened up and they didn't want to risk it. So that is coming from a very higher up source. Just got via text. So good. You good news for Kalaja Kansi. That's, yeah. That's, That's, yeah. That's why you watch this show. You watch the show. Breaking news like this. Yeah getting all sorts of texts. So that's a good one. So anyways, back to Baker. Uh, for me, it was the the stiff arm, right? It was the stiff arm. It was the fourth and one QB sneak. Uh, it was the throw to Chris Godwin. Uh, the throw to Coquif, I mean, if Coquif catches that, it's a touchdown. I mean, if we're being honest. So I, I thought Baker played well enough today to get the win and the Bucks won. Uh, was it all Baker? No, it wasn't. Uh, but this guy right here gets my other game ball. I love kickers just as much as I love running backs. I love good kickers. I love good running backs. The Bucs didn't have a good running back today, but they had a good kicker. Chase McLaughlin was perfect on extra points, perfect on his two field goals. His 57-yarder was the game winner. Ryan Suckup couldn't do that, and I love Ryan Suckup to death. So uh, Chase McLaughlin still perfect in Tampa Bay, uh, and uh, he deserves a game ball for sure because, um, I mean, won the game winner, 57-yarder. That's that's, that's that's a hell of a Buccaneer yeah, debut. Yeah. yeah, it's not a. It's exactly why they brought him in to hit these yeah. types of field goals. I also think Todd Bowles and Dave Canales deserve a, a game ball strictly for the the halftime adjustments for everything that we talked about. Just yeah. getting this team on the right track in that second half.